So I'd like to talk about the Ted brothers' accusations. We don't get much uh, because right now they have been arrested. They have been served with a complaint. And we really only get what they revealed, but we don't have a public copy of the complaint, let alone one that would be translated to English. But from what has been revealed across the years, because those are all very old allegations, and there were already counters to those allegations available in the public space, we can make some kind of a judgment on the state of this criminal complaint and did the Tate brothers really do something bad? My suspicion initially when I heard about these arrests was, oh, well, they're, they're going to dig and dig and find something. Because when you have that much money, it's super easy to forget a tax here or there. And so they're going to, they're going to find something. But as it turns out, they didn't find something. So they went back to allegations that are holding by two women, and they are allegations that try to stretch what was really a bunch of consensual interactions in which women fell in love with uh, Andrew Tate and his brother, got brat brought into the cam business, of course, like, like a little bit like a pimp would do to bring women to the prostitution business. But in the, this case, it was for the cam business, which is a legal business in Romania, as far as I can tell. And the whole, uh, the whole principle behind this, lawsuit, behind this prosecution is that they were deceived. They, they, were, they were told false promises of love, false declarations of love, which were truly meant to human traffic them into the cam business. But we are reaching really the, the breaking point of feminist civilization, I believe, in that they, they want, on the one hand, for women to be super agentic, for, for the, the agency of women to be the highest good. You know, don't violate woman consent. Ask for consent about anything. But I will ask the question, because it seems that based on leftist behavior, Women cannot consent. Women cannot be responsible for their own business decision. Because if you want me to treat women with very high agency, I will. And that means that a woman can decide to fall in love, decide to believe a promise of love. It turns out that the promise of love is false, but then she still decided and consented to showing her ass onto the cam, and she's responsible for it because she did it willfully. If we can't hold a woman responsible for this, then basically all employment of all women in our civilization is a form of rape, human trafficking. How is it that McDonald's isn't human trafficking? It's female employees. Well, you're going to tell me, well, they choose the job willfully. Okay, well, this, this woman chose to do cam willfully. Now, they have what they call a threat from Andrew Tate, which would all put this into the framing of, oh, well, they were coerced. But the threat is absolutely ridiculous. That would be the supposed threat. Don't go out alone without telling me it's the last warning. Now, the thing is, when you are, uh, when you are surrounded by women of value, and you are yourself a man of value, you need to protect these women. Especially if you're in Romania. I mean, uh, I wouldn't let a, a girl just go out at night in Romania if, she, if I cared for her. And so if, if she was either my employee and I have a, a kind of moral obligation to protect her, or if she was my girlfriend, I would take issue with her potentially exposing herself to risks that she doesn't understand. Particularly if she's not from Romania, I would expect her not to understand the, the level of corruption, the level of criminality that she may expose herself and me to. Because when you are known, like Andrew Tate is known, potentially anyone in your surrounding can be targeted for kidnapping and they can be targeted for ransom. So 
for him to say, don't go out alone without telling me, makes absolute sense. And it's the last warning. Can we, men, can we threaten women with leaving them, with not supporting them if they continue a certain behavior? Because that is the next feminist frontier. The feminist and the left want to make it an abusive behavior to be threatening separation. But the problem is it's the only leverage we have left. We cannot physically punish them anymore. You're going to get us to jail for assault. We cannot even use emotional manipulation that women would use regularly on us because then we're going to be accused in court of emotionally manipulating them. And so our last leverage is to say, look, you have a certain behavior. I am a man. I cannot interfere in your behavior because you are a free woman, the sanctified object of agency of current civilization. So there's nothing I can do about your behavior. So here's what I'm going to do. You're going to get the fuck out of here, and I'm not caring for you anymore. Because ultimately, women who have negative behavior in the couple, they are doing it on our finances. Like, when these women start acting like crack whores, they are doing it on our paycheck. Unless we are in a situation where the woman is extremely rich, this is very rare. Most of the time when you have a woman messing with the man in the relationship, she's doing it with the money of the man. And so it's a legitimate thing to say for a man. It's the last warning. I cannot continue our consent. I do not consent. I do not consent to furthering this relationship with you because you are acting in these ways. Now, if you want to act in these ways, if you want to walk alone on the streets at night, you can, but it's going to have to be without me. It's going to have to be uh, without my finances and funding and support. So you choose. This is not emotional abuse or coercion of a criminal nature. This is someone putting limits on his willingness to engage in a consensual relationship. Now, there's this passage where apparently some people who have read the complaint say, the pair are accused, along with two Romanian women, of tricking seven alleged victims with false declarations of love. Th that made me laugh. That the modern woman, that the modern feminist civilization would think that it is a subject of fraudulent accusations to make false declarations of love. You're going to need very big prisons if you want to go after false declarations of love. But who is it in society that has demanded that declarations of love mean nothing anymore? It's woman. It's woman and it's family courts and it's the feminist organizations they control. According to uh, feminist discourse, we have to basically rescan for consent and rescan for love at every single fraction of a second. And a yes now doesn't mean a yes in five seconds from now. And a I will marry you today doesn't mean I still want to be married to you six months later or when the baby is in the belly and you've been inseminated and you want to get rid of the man now. According to the very feminist discourse and the very kind of authorities that are today going after the Tates, uh, declarations of love mean nothing because they've been decredibilized, they've been walked over, they've been totally ruined, they mean nothing anymore because it's at the instant. So how is it that the Tates are held to a higher standard, that their declarations of love should be honored forever? that they cannot have changed their mind and said, all right, I used to love you, but now I want to employ you. I, I was in love with you last week. Today, I'm not in love with you anymore, but you would do a good cam girl. So how about you become a cam girl? All of this is consensual business offers, and it was the responsibility of these women to refuse it if they didn't want it. Now, we have a one-month-old or maybe a three-month-old thread 
that goes into these women. And apparently there are two of the women. So the, the complaint seems to trace seven potential victims. But already two of them have published videos that the Tates have, uh, I believe they have edited themselves and uh, revealed publicly, where they basically say we are not victims. I am not a victim. Beatrice is not a victim. There are no victims in this case and there is no crime. I forced Amen Inzata. No, I'm not a victim, even though the prosecution is telling me I am. I've told them this over and over again. But Man. This fucking woman. She. This is more than double dipping. This woman. was paid for the love story with Andrew Tate, then was paid for the cam girling, then was probably paid in some form or rewarded socially in some form for making the allegations against Andrew Tate. Now she's probably being paid by Andrew Tate to undo those allegations and... Uh, and make this video where she says, I'm not a victim. <laughs> this is the amount of mess that a female can generate in current society. They can make the money on the four rounds. They can make the money during the love story with the pimp. They can make the money with the cam girling after the pimp reveals he's not in love with them. They can make the money with the intelligence agencies who want to catch the pimp. And they can make a fourth round of money selling their confession that they're not truly really victims to the pimp himself. Do you realize that there is no end to this black hole? Except to say anything that comes out of this beautiful mouth. I'm not taking it. Anything she can say, I do not give a shit. What matters is what can be proven outside of her words. And, <laughs> and she got the, the Christian cross uh, on, on her ears and on her necks. Holy shit. Man, I, I, I'm, staying city, but I'm staying single. I'm staying single. I am not interested in further interaction with these people. But all this to say, still... Whether she gets paid or not doesn't matter. You have the problem that this woman cannot testify in court now that she's a victim because she's already on the record sh saying she's not a victim. Uh, then, so, uh, so people are asking, single JF? Well, I've announced at the beginning of the show that Mama JF has abandoned me. And so, uh, yes, I am single and... Uh, you can go back to the beginning of the show if you want to see the whole announcement. Uh, so yes, uh, DK Shadow, we have a case of quadro dipping. This girl can quadro drip in ways that most girls might eat just double dip or triple dip. I mean, uh, <clears throat> uh, Thomas Howard says, wait, what? Has JF withdrawn his false declarations of love? <laughs> <laughs> for Mama JF, uh, I guess I guess that would be one way the feminists would phrase it. It's that I have deceived Mama JF into uh, false declarations of love, and uh... <laughs> but as I said at the beginning of the show, uh, there was nothing hostile done by Mama JF toward me, and so don't expect uh, any uh, trash talking against her. Uh, simply, uh, if you don't wreck my life and you really have a change of heart, that is okay to me, especially that our relationship has been very productive for her time being here. So what can I complain about? No wrecking of my life, no trying to destroy me, no false allegations. So it's like I'm not going to... Uh, to, to to say bad things about Mama JF or even provide any sort of details about the event because but, but all I said is that was our decision. Uh, I, I don't I'm a man who believes in monogamy for real until death do us part. 
But uh, that is not the current belief in the female. So all in all, reviewing these videos and uh, and the overall allegations that that this is a form of kidnapping that don't go alone without telling me it's the last warning. This is what justifies this human trafficking allegations. If that is your basis for so human trafficking because oh she was controlled and oh she was cam girling. Well by this standard a McDonald employee is being human trafficked. I mean she doesn't get to cook the fries the way she wants, really, the way she feels inside of her. She has to follow the timer imposed by the big corporate guys who have big dicks and testicles. But by the standard that this, this uh, prosecution is trying to set, uh, any form of control is human trafficking. So it's my conclusion, although I've not seen the full complaint yet, unless there is something surprising coming out of what we've already reviewed and, and Rutate is saying on his Twitter account that what we've just reviewed are the accusations in the complaint. Now we'll see once the complaint is publicly available if that's true. But if there's nothing new then this, this is insufficient in my view to to find the Tate uh, guilty of, of, of a sex crime. And then there's the whole rape story. It's uh, well did he force years ago someone to have sex with him? Uh, and, and somehow we're just hearing about it today. I, I find these, uh, these pursuits ridiculous, and I will personally not find Andrew Tate guilty if that is the, base, the full basis for the complaint. Thomas Howard says, The operative word is yet. Hopefully Mama JF will shock the mass of modern women and respect the closure of her relationship with JF and not resort to any form of retaliation. Yeah, hopefully, hopefully that is the case. Uh, so that is it for uh, this clip. Uh, thanks for those of you, by the way, who are watching on Twitter. I love doing these clips for Twitter.